and welcome back. I am Robot Genie, and we are here playing the Salinki Dynasty in Crusader Kings 2. I just kind of want to check how this Orthodox situation is progressing. Uh, very well for the Orthodox faith. The Orthodox faith is doing, uh, yeah, doing really quite well. The Sunnis have taken over a lot, but uh, yeah, I don't know. The Orthodox is, uh, this is a success story right now. We'll uh, we'll get Hindu up there, but I don't know if we'll do as well as Orthodox. Partially because I don't want to conquer that much land. Now it looks like my house house uh, signia once again changed by itself on loading the game. Very annoying. So there we go. Problem solved. We're back to uh, what we had before. I just don't like the insignia of the, the Bengal Empire. I don't like it. It's like you get used to one insignia. I don't like it changing. Sometimes I don't like the color, the, uh, color to change either, but <coughs> I, uh, I actually like this color better than the brown we started with. Here, nephew, just just train my daughter and like me Some more. Oh, it looks like we can end this war. And uh, yeah, there we go. Ended the war. Now, can we change the succession law? Of we want to go to Ultima Genitor. Okay, so a vassal has a negative opinion of me. Is it this dude? No. It's this guy. Why do you dislike me? He desires the kingdom, and he's ambitious. So it's mainly because he's ambitious. Wow, it's gonna cost a lot. Um, can we just award him an honorary title? Yep. And so now he doesn't have a negative opinion. He doesn't have a positive one though either. So does that count? Uh, no. Apparently zero still counts as a negative opinion in the game. But if we do this, or or the other <laughs> the other answer to that is maybe someone else. Yeah, there must be someone else <coughs> in this kingdom that uh, that dislikes us. That guy likes us. This guy probably doesn't. Yeah. Oh, so he does want these too. See, I was under the impression that he wouldn't want those. That's gonna cause a lot of uh, a lot of problems with this guy. So I might have to give him those two provinces there. But then we'll, if I give him those two provinces, we'll have to see but about what else we do, but we're going to have to take some other land somewhere. Maybe take the, been wanting to take this one back, because this is part of my, du the duchy that I own here. And I, I kind of have claim to it. Yeah, that's a lot of negative modifiers for this guy. Yeah, he's gonna have a permanent minus seven, minus a hundred. He has wrong government type too. All, all those things. There's a lot of stuff there. Yeah. We're not gonna give it to him right now. We're not gonna give him that stuff right now, but um, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to give him. We're gonna have to give him some of that stuff. Alright, let's uh, make that Ultima Genitor. Well, one thing I could do is dissolve, like, um, I could dissolve a duchy and take some provinces in that duchy. We'll see. 
I think these two places are making me a ton of money though. So I don't really feel like giving them up right away. We do need someone to take this. Uh, let's yeah, let's revoke these Jane titles. That sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm creating the Empire title. I gotta be careful because... Um, what is it? Uh, this guy could eventually get big enough to take the uh, the Empire title, or create it himself. If he creates it himself, then, um, then he becomes independent. I think he's still pretty far away from being able to do that, though. I doubt he even has 50%. Alright, let's um let's just find someone to fill this position. So who are the independents around here? I think I guess we can give it to this guy. Or what Yeah, so what duchy is this part of? It's part of this duchy. I could keep these two pieces of this duchy myself. I could even keep this this one. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could just keep this this building here, and then um, uh, these are such these are so nice. I wish I didn't have to give them away, but I totally do. Totally do. So we're gonna give away one of these. Oh, that's really too bad. Wait, I can't, I can't grant him that. Yeah, I can't, I, I actually physically can't give him these two provinces because he's of the wrong, he's of the wrong caste. So he can't own these castle provinces. <laughs> oh, that's, that's interesting. So he's gonna he's gonna really really hate me, and uh, there's not much I can do about it. Whatever, that guy's gonna like permanently hate me. I'm never gonna get any money from him. So let's come over here and look at men, my religion, my culture, ruler. No, uh, let's let's grab somebody maybe that. You know what, I don't want too many single vassals. We're, we'll give it to this guy. Yeah, here you go, dude. Take that. There we go. Make him a little bit stronger. That makes sense to me. So I still have, oh, I bet, um, I bet our buildings that we built here are completed. Yeah, so uh, we got a new, new church. Um, We'll help them out by <coughs> building a tax income building there. Build another one here. And we built a city as well, right here. Let's transfer that one over, and we'll build a town market there for him. That's good. Yeah, some of the oblique. I mean, we always have the option to move our um, our holdings to other areas too, especially after Holy Wars, because everybody is automatically removed from an area. So we always have the option to kind of change <coughs> duchies around. Like this one seems pretty good. I guess it's okay. Be nice to have one <coughs> more bordering sea provinces, like Oman here. Yeah, wow, Oman is super good. I would love to own this because all of these are sea provinces. I would get rid of the current duchy that we own to own Oman. I wonder. Uh, 
How, how much fleet do we have? So there's a hundred people can fit in each one of these. So we can transport 32,000 people. That might be... Okay, so these guys are separate. <clears throat> but it might be it might be worth grabbing Oman. That could be one of our uh, little little bases there. I can't believe that's a, that's a duchy. That's a huge duchy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. There is six counties there. That's a lot. And then if we can somehow get this one back, that that would be uh, that'd be quite a lot. Yeah, we can't we can't do that. Wow, yeah, Oman would be great to own. Part of me just wants to go over there right now. Uh, let, let's let's grab some of these things because uh, I think even though that would give me more land, I think the first priority is India anyway. Uh, let's do this. Move in there. I don't even apparently have leaders on a lot of these armies. Uh, I am ill. Probably won't die. You never know, but probably won't. These guys are pretty bad. Oh yeah, you can definitely lead an army. I hope you die. This guy over here, he's been a constant pain, pain my entire reign. All right, converting to the Hindu faith. That's that's very nice. Wow. <clears throat> Got a bunch of units here. About to have to start killing them. Oh. Just crossed. <laughs> You know, whatever, let's just cross a major river. Cross a major river to attack them. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're still making like 45 ducats a month. That's pretty good. Well, and then minus our monthly expenses of constantly regenerating these guys. It's really like always at war. I'm totally gonna go take over Oman now. And then we're gonna lose income again for a little bit. That's like, those are like the kind of holdings that I wanna have outside of India. Maybe we'll take Oman and, whoa. Talk about consolidation of power here. When did that happen? That's new, right? think. They must be Sunni. She is. Sunni's being destroyed. Oh, there's Sunnis over here, but... Wow. Okay. Yeah, but possibly owning, like, the coast over here. Something, uh, maybe, maybe we'll do. I don't know. I think I'm gonna struggle to find stuff to do in this game that won't, um, won't leave me too overpowered, won't give me too much more than uh, just India. That's assuming India, owning all of India is not overpowered in and of itself. An overpowered way to start EU4. Probably, it almost certainly is an overpowered way to start EU4. So we'll see what happens. I like how it has the the dying sound comes out, and then it's like <laughs> at the same time it tells me that I'm I'm done being ill. All right, so we took some more took some more land from Paula. They're probably not too happy about that, 
but uh, I can't I can't say I care too much. Um, hmm. Now this is a kingdom, right? So let's start giving all this stuff to the same person within the kingdom. We'll give this to uh, Kali here. Uh, it looks like he's had land taken from him in a bunch of attacks and stuff. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna help him out, give him some more stuff. Hopefully, eventually make him into a king. So there you go. Have that. <laughs> now you get. Now you have two holdings. So that'll be good for you. What? Who is this? And wh what is he talking about? He won't allow me to steal his titles without a fight? Oh, right here. <laughs> okay, yeah, that wasn't much of a fight. So, um... Welcome to prison. I wonder how many people are. Oh, wow, I have a lot of prisoners. I don't even know who I just imprisoned. Oh, I guess it's probably the guy that's been in prison for zero years. All right, let's uh, let's revoke his title. Oh, so now we own this city. So I want. I kind of want to give this city to that guy. I don't think I, I can't give it to him though, because it's he's the, the wrong the wrong cast. <clears throat> the cast stuff's really annoying. So perhaps we can transfer the vassalage to him, because otherwise he's going to hate me, because I own a city that's underneath him. Yeah, okay, we can do that. There we go. So that's fine. Now, do I have any cast abilities, like here? We have the troops anyway. Do we have cast abilities here? No. This is all not India. This is part of Persia. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go after Oman. I I want that land. I got my I got my mind set on that land, so I'm gonna take it. And then I'm gonna get, then I'm gonna basically give away this duchy that we just that we just took and just set up. Uh, <laughs> I'm already already sick of it. Uh, and then we can also give away one of these guys, so perhaps this guy won't be as mad at me. Oh, uh oh. Oh, we can search for a guru. I didn't know I could do that as uh, this religion. Apparently we can. We still have Gujarat as a, um, the Gujarati has not gone away into Rajput, despite us of being living here forever. Part of the problem is, uh, I don't think it's, the culture is going to convert until, um, it's the same religion. And now that we switched away from Jain, none of this is the same religion, so. I think it's, it's going to slowly get there. It'll slowly, it'll slowly turn over. I, I bet, I bet a lot of our rulers here still have um, Jains under their control, and uh, it's taking, you know, they're gonna have to all switch over, and then everything will start to switch. All right, we got a guru. He's taking up residence in my court. Thirty-one learning. That'll be good. Uh, that'll be good uh, stuff for converting people. So let's uh, let's get let's get right on that. Let's convert our capital. <laughs> our capital hasn't even converted yet. So did I have a rebellion rise up here, or uh, was that just some some other random message? I don't know. I, we get so many messages now that I've started stopped reading a lot of them. We could do trade practices. Church infrastructure would probably be uh, okay. Or we could go for, I'm gonna go for town infrastructure and hope that that passes around to all the cities and stuff. So.
Now, yeah, we're gonna want to get in boats, but we'll uh, we'll declare war on Oman, and then we're gonna have to declare war on Sequid, and then we're gonna have to declare war on. Or maybe we should do these guys first, uh, just because it'll be easier, basically. Wait, is that part of Oman too? No. Well, it'll be easier because then we won't own the duchy title, which means we don't have to give up the duchy title if we're here yet. Which is important. Alright, wait, what? These guys are independent, I think. Oh, I can't declare holy war on them. And why is that? Probably because I don't border them. So I gotta get a border with them first. Right. So the easiest way would probably be to fabricate a claim over here. And then we use that claim and then we'll have a border. Because I, I don't wanna I don't wanna conquer all of this. It'd be too much power. Although what I could do what I could do is I could conquer the entire kingdom or even the Persian Empire here. And then, uh, and then just release it as a as a separate Hindu state, it, rather than owning it. Like I, I could own it for now, and then just release it as a Hindu state. I, I kind of feel like that's maybe what I want to do. Get rid of some of this orthodoxy, put some Hindu stuff in. So uh, we'll we'll go for that. I don't want to like uh, like I've been saying. I don't want to own too much more than India on the outset here. I mean, on the beginning of EU4, I kind of just want to just own India and maybe this Oman section, and that's it. Uh, but I wouldn't mind creating separate empires that that uh, like me <laughs> and are also Hindu and everything, so that we we could do that. I do want the hordes to have some success, though. Like, I don't want the hordes are gonna come in when they're gonna come in pretty soon. So that's something that's something to uh, to keep in mind. Maybe when the hordes show up, I'll just release this area under someone else's control. I don't even know how exactly you release people. Oh, you can just grant independence. Okay, I see. So we'll do that. We'll do some independence granting um, when the hordes show up. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this episode, so if you're liking the series, make sure to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.